If I get those four entries, I'll start with my labor variances. When I go with labor variances, we don't have any negative value. If you go with this, what happens is rupees 2000. LHS is equal to my RHS, hence it is proved in the sense what whatever I have done, it's all good. How to go with this LEV? Last formula, if you go with it, the first one you are supposed to take here. Hello everybody, a warm welcome to One and All. I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the fifth session here. Now in this session, I'm going to teach you about a tricky question. What exactly we are supposed to go with the labor costing. Now let's go with the question. The problem number four of this labor costing and the material costing the same way here we are just continuing with the standard costing here what exactly the problem says now before we understand the problem let's see to it what is that we need to calculate the first thing is labor variance is what we are supposed to calculate what is that we need to calculate we need to calculate labor variances so whenever we go with it we always supposed to make a box i told you how to prepare a box sh SR, Pratik Roshan, that is standard hours, standard rate. Then we need to go with actual hour, actual rate and close it. So I need only four entries, standard hour, standard rate, actual hour, actual rate. And if I get those four entries, I'll start with my labor variances. When I go with labor variances, I have three labor variances, labor cost variance, labor rate variance and labor efficiency variances. So three variances I need to find out according to your syllabus and the problem. So they have given the standard cost card. Remember the session three we went with in the material variances. There was something called a trick. What was that? The standard cost card. The minute they give you something like standard cost card, something hidden is there. Okay, here also in labor also they have given standard cost card in the sense something hidden is there. We need to figure out and we need to take out SH, SR, AH and AR. Now what is that they have said is the standard cost card reveals the following information. For labor they have given that a standard rate, rupees 10 per hour, standard rate. They have only given SR is how much? Rupees 10. So I will write here 10. Done. My first entry is now. Our set per hour is 40. That means for one unit, that is one unit, the standard is how much? 40 hours is what they use. 40 hours. That means what? To manufacture one unit, how many hours they take? They take 40 hours. So this is what they have given. That is a standard. Now I told you, SH in the sense what? Now, S. H is equal to standard hour, standard hour of actual, actual output. So you need to see, see for one unit, I have taken 40 hours. Now what is the actual output? In the problem, you need to see the actual output. Where is this actual output? Actual data is given. Actual hours worked, no. Actual cost, no. Unit produces how much? 500 units. How much is the unit produced? 500 units. That means in the standard calculation, for one unit I have taken 40 hours calculation. So for 500 units, how many standard hours? SH. So cross multiply. This will go here. The question mark will come down. So here what happens is 500 into 40 divided by 1. So 500 into 45 4 is 20 in the sense here is equal to 20,000 hours. How much is it? 20,000 hours. So my SH is how much now? 20,000 hours. 20,000. Done. Now I'll come here. Let me erase this for you people here right now. Let me just take this all the is I'll erase it so that you people can easily you can understand now. Now I got what SHSR. So this entire row is done. 
See, whenever the standard cost card comes, I'll repeat again, they'll give you for one unit or 10 unit or for three units, whatever it is, but they'll not give you total. So how to find out this? If it is a material, it is always what SQ is equal to standard quantity into actual output. If it is for asset, it is, it is standard hours into actual output. So we have calculated. Next is actual hour, AH. They have only given actual hour is how much? 22,000. So I'll write here. 22,000 done. Now labor that is actual labor cost that means for this many hours how much they have given is 1,98,000. Again I need to go for a working note now you got this one here so I'll again erase these things here for you all these things we have uh, got it. Now the next one we are supposed to go See, the more you concentrate on the problem, what happens is you will get to know the clarity about each and every problem. What is that they are asking and what is that we are supposed to find. I will just select the pen here. Done. Now we got SH, SR, AH. We need to get AR. Okay. What is this question mark? AR. Rate in the sense for one hour, how much will you pay? That is what the rate they are actually asking you. But here what has happened is they have given you like this. You have worked for 22,000 hours. Okay. And they have paid you 1,98,000. 1,98,000 rupees. But what is my AR means actual. That means for one hour, how much? Now again the question will come down here. It goes cross multiplication. That means what? 1,98,000 divided by 22,000. So for 1 R is equal to, this is for 1 R. 1 R is equal to this much. So I'll go with 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So take your calci now. You should always use your calculator when you go with this. 198 divided by 22 is equal to 9. That means, so here what happens is for 1 R, how much you please use your calculator? 198 divided by 22 is equal to 9. So for 1 R, how much? 9 rupees. 9 rupees. This is what happens. So here AR is how much now? Now the ARS which was question mark, now we know that it is 9 rupees. Easy. Now let's go with calculation of the labor variances. So first one here, again for the solution, I'll go with, I'll retain the same box here. I'll write the box. The minute you get these questions, please prepare boxes. You need SH, SR, AH and AR. SH is how much you need to actually uh, move back and then just check. SH is 20,000. Then SR is there, it is 10 rupees. Then AH is there, AH is 22,000. So I'll write here 22,000 and here it is 09. So I'll go with the first one LCV is equal to SH into SR minus AH into AR that is standard first in one side and actual in the other side. Now SH is equal to SH is how much? 20,000 into 10 minus 22,000 into 9. Now here what has happened? We have here 2 lakh minus now 22, 9. 22,000 into 9 is equal to 1,98,000. So here it is 1,98,000. See how exactly you got this 22 into 9 is 1,98,000. See the question here itself for if I have worked for 22,000, how much they have paid? 1,98,000. That is what you are supposed to remember. Now what happens is, is equal to LCV, LCV is equal to rupees. See here we don't have negative value. We don't have any negative value. If you go with this, what happens is rupees 2000. Now in the bracket, favorably. 
What is it? Favorable. This is what the favorable is, isn't it? Now this is R, favorable. Rupees 2000, favorable. What is that I have done? 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 98 thousand is equal to what? Positive it is, rupees 2000. So it is in a positive side, that's why I have written here favorable. If it is a negative, you are supposed to write what? Unfavorable is what you are supposed to write. Next, we will go with one more, that is LCV is done. Now LRV is equal to. Now, how to calculate this LRV? Please understand the first formula was what? SH into SR minus AH into AR. Now, this will come here. No, AH. So, AH. Ours has come out. So, what will come in? Rate will come. So, S will be there. SR minus AR. Now, AH is how much? Just check your H 22,000. How much? 22,000. SR is how much? SR is 10 and AR is 9. So, 10 minus 9. So, here is equal to 22,001. This is positive. 10 minus 9 in the sense plus 1. So, here what happens is, is equal to 22,000 rupees. Again, it is what? Favorable. Favorable. How much I have got? 22,000, which is favorable. Yeah. So, this is what we have gone with. That is LRV also we found out. The last one is there, which we are supposed to find. That is called LEV. LEV is equal to. How to go with this LEV? Last formula, if you go with it, the first one you are supposed to take here. The last formula was AH into SR. Block this. What is the first? SR. So here you will write SR into what is it? SH minus AH. Rate is outside means what will come in? Ours will come in. What is the first one? Standard will always come first. So what is SR? Our SR is SR is 10. So we'll write here 10 into SH. SH in the sense we have 20,000 minus 22,000. So is equal to is equal to 10. Here what minus 2000 minus 2000 then is equal to. Now I know that it is negative value which will come. So I'll write here LEV is equal to rupees. I'll write then I'll write here what happens is 20,000. Now in the bracket, unfavorable, 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 I'll write. Now I've calculated LCV, LRV, LEV. I need to check whether it is right or wrong. So what is that I'll do is I'll put here verification, verification. Now I'll write LCV is equal to LRV is equal to LEV is equal to. Now, LEV, how much we got? 20,000, but it is unfavorable means what? Minus 20,000. Minus 20,000. LRV is there. Please understand what is this LRV? LRV is again favorable. 22,000 is there. So, I'll write here plus 22,000. Next, we have LCV. LCV, we got again favorable. 2,000 is there. So, I'll write here 2,000. So, what is the verification formula? We'll go with this. The verification formula is verification formula. LCV is equal to LRV plus LEV. So, LCV is plus 2000 is equal to LRV is how much? LRV is 22,000. So, 22,000. Now, plus into minus in the sense minus because we have minus 20,000. So, I'll write here minus 20,000. So here 2,000 is equal to 22,000 minus 20,000 is how much? 2,000. 2,000. That means what? My LHS is equal to my RHS. Hence it is proved in the sense what? Whatever I have done, it's all correct. Very simple this is. What has happened? I'll tell you here. Now when we went with the question here, let me just erase this question for you people. Let me just erase the entire thing for you.
not the equation. Now, the standard cost card, the standard cost card is that reveals the following information, how step by step you are supposed to take is very simple. Standard rate they have only given SHU rate, SRU rate, AH, AR. Now, standard rate they have only given 10 per hour. So, right, 10. See, always the rate is per hour, per hour it is. Now, R set per unit is 40 hours. To finish one unit, you are supposed to take 40 hours is what it is. So, one unit is equal to 40 hours. So, what is SH in the sense standard hour of actual output? What is the actual output here? 500 units. So, 500 units is equal to how much is the standard? Cross multiply, the question mark will come down. So, 500 into 40, 500 into 40 is equal to 20,000 hours. So, I'll write here 20,000. Done. Next is what we have done. Actual hour, they have only given what? Actual hour is how much? 22,000. So, I'll write here 22,000. But they told me that actual labor cost is how much? That is 1,98,000. So, I know that AR, actual rate means for 1 hour how much? So, I'll divide 1,98,000 divided by 22,000. So, I got how much? 9. Now, I know the formulas. What are the labor variances? Labor cost variance, labor rate variance, labor efficiency variance. So, what is that I have done here? Labor cost, I found out with the formula. Labor rate also we found out. Then labor efficiency also we found out. Later, just to check whether whatever I have done is right or wrong. What is the verification? LCV is equal to LRV plus LEV. And then I found out that 2000 and 2000 is correct. That means what? My answer is correct. Any doubt regarding this session, please do call us. We are always there to help you. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you.